This video demonstrates the new terrain tools incorporated in the Run Swim Fly tools package. The package adds automation to the process of texture and height painting. It does this by filtering according to terrain, slope, height and texture, and through simulating hydraulic erosion. Before using the tools, go into the options for your terrain and ensure that you are using the Draw Instance option. This is a prerequisite for the masked texturing tool, but will significantly speed up all of the tools, and especially the hydraulic erosion tool. The masked texture tool allows you to paint textures using slope and height filters, and by using the pre-existing textures as masks or stencils. Using the various sliders, you can set a control value at which a texture is maximally applied. You can also set the breadth of values over which the texture is applied and how sharp the boundary is. Slope and height slider values can be set directly or by shift clicking or shift dragging to sample the terrain in the scene view. You can preview current settings by clicking the fill button and then undoing. For the most part, the other tools in the package operate as their standard analogues, but with the ability to mask or stencil the operation according to the underlying texture. The final tool I'll demonstrate is the hydraulic erosion tool. This tool uses a simulated water flow to erode terrains. Left click to add water to the terrain. The brush opacity setting determines the rate of water addition. When you first start adding water, a simulation area is set up around the brush. You can wait for the water to evaporate, or you can stop the simulation by pressing the shift key. Left clicking outside the simulation zone will restart the simulation with a new zone. You can expand the simulation area until it covers the entire terrain. However, large simulation areas require faster graphics hardware to run at a reasonable frame rate. There are numerous controls to influence water behaviour and appearance, erosion characteristics and simulation speed and area. Mouse over the labels to get tool tips. As always, you can undo if you are not satisfied with the results. You can mask or stencil the operation according to the underlying texture. Here I've masked the rock texture so it won't be eroded. And that's it. The Run Swim Fly Tools package is free to download on the Unity Asset Store and is linked below.